Okay, guys. I'm going to show you how to break in your first pair of plant shoes. Because I just got mine. So, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my plant shoes today. Ready? And I already broke them. Will you get me Spider Man? Yeah. Okay, so your point shoes, they like originally come like this. That man sucks, Brandon. And they're all like bent up here. Let me untie this real fast so y'all can maybe see just a little bit more. Okay, well, <laughs> it comes with like a little bag like this. If you order it, if you order it from that. Discount Dance Company. And they like come like this originally, so they're hard to like stick your feet into them. And of course, they don't come all scratched up like that because I had to do that with scissors in order to break them in. So when you want to start with the point, you're going to sit here and like squeeze them. I don't know, let me put it up here. You want to sit here and just like squeeze the point of it. Okay. And then another thing to do when you're trying to do that, let me show you. I know I've got really ugly feet, but yeah. You want to just lay this down on the ground, like, like not on a bed. And you're going to put them on the ground and then you're just going to step on them with all your weight. But not like all, 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 all of it because you don't want to like break them. So just sit here and like step on them and then they kind of get into a flat shape and you can actually like let me put them on the fast uh you put your sock thingy on oh yeah um okay so what i did is instead of buying these like little feed gels you can just get a sock and cut off the tip of it and then stick it right on here on your toes so that's the only thing that it covers. And then you want to slip them on. They're much better for your feet instead of having them on the wood because that would just hurt with your point shoes on. And then I haven't sewn this because I need to go buy some dental floss because to do it with dental floss, it's much stronger than regular thread. Otherwise, they would break. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and then you have them on. And then you do not want the sock showing, so you want to cut it short enough right there. And then when you tie them, you want to... Oh, well, it's already tied. You want to pull them all, like almost all the way out to where you don't want to have this showing. Like when you bend them, you don't want all that excess right there. So you're going to pull them all out and get them straight. You want them to always be straight. And you're just going to tie them like you do with your shoes. Just don't double knot them because then it'll be hard to get out. And tie them. These ones are like still really tight. Otherwise, you'd stick them into your point shoe. But then they end up looking like that until I finally sell them. I have to go and buy the wrap-up junky stuff. So, yeah. Okay, well, the other thing about breaking them in is you want to bend them. Just sit here and, like, bend them. But don't bend them too much because otherwise you'll break them. Like, right here, it's really easy to do. Of course, like, hold on. You can, like, bend them inside out. And right there, that's what they look like right there. They're supposed to be like that, I think. Yeah. And then you can just bend them. And you want to kind of break them up here for your toes. They're really hard. And then we sit here and just squish that in place. And it's wood, so it's going to be really hard to break in. So you're just going to sit here. It takes a long time. Hold on. Okay, but yeah, that's how you break them in. And then when you're finished, you might want to untie them because you don't want this getting too tight to where you can't get it untied. So, yeah. And then my feet have been in, so they're a little bit dirty. And then let me find my special scissors. Okay, well, you want to just get a simple pair of, like, big scissors. And then you're going to just bend them like this and grab the kind of edgy side right there. And then make X's into them. But you don't want to do it like too deep into it. Because it just won't be good. And then you don't want to get on the pink either. Because that will just break the silky touch to it and everything. And it will open them up, which you don't want. Otherwise, just make kind of lines on it, but lightly. So that they don't go very deep in. And you're just going to do that until kind of, I don't know if y'all can see it. But look like that. But yeah, that's how you're going to do that. Oh, yeah. Um, so 
if y'all like get mad at your siblings, no. What you can do, don't is since this is like wood right there, don't you can it. just hit him in the head really hard, but not that hard where they might just have a concussion or something. Just whack him in the head. Hurts like shit. But yeah, back to here. Like. Well, what you will need is like a pair of scissors. You want a pair of socks. You might want a lighter so that you can kind of get this down, but I'm gonna be taking that off to get a new elastic on it. And when you're doing the elastic, you want it a thumb way from the end of it. So if y'all can see this crease right there, right there, when it bends in, you'll see that still. You'll want the elastic, because they did it all screwy on this one. You'll want it a thumb way on each side from the little part right there. So just a thumb way, and then that's where you'll sew it on. And you want to do dental floss because it's much stronger, but do the white kind. And you'll want to just do it around the edges right there. And then the white will be better so that it does not show. Don't do the green because it will show, of course. But yeah, and you want to make sure to do it all nice and neat so it doesn't look all crappy and stuff. What? And then, same thing with the um, ribbon. I have this ribbon right here. I'm not going to show this Hello Kitty one on, but I thought it was cute. And where that little line is right there on that side, where, okay, so when you have on your point shoes, I squeeze these puppies on, right where that little edge comes out is where you're going to put your ribbon. And you want this outside sticking like this, so it'll show like that. And you're just going to sew it in right where your arch is. And don't make sure not to do it right on the seam, make sure to do it right by the seam, wherever your arch is. And then it'll be right there. And then when you can just sit here and simply wrap it up. And you're going to do it on both sides, of course. And you can just simply wrap it up. And then right here on the other side, it's a little bit harder. But you can see right where the seam is. So, of course, that's where it's going to go. So, you'll need your ribbon, your sock, your scissors, a lighter, and then whatever else you're going to do it with. Sewing needle? Yeah, sewing needle. What I like doing is I like to put on her point shoes and then like have the shoe really close to her face and then when she looks up she goes <gasps> Yeah. Or it scares her really bad. But yeah. That's how you're gonna break in your point shoes and then a the cute little way to keep them on, like if you're dancing around your house or whatever, I don't know where you're gonna be. Because I know you're not gonna be allowed to do it when you're like at a dance thing or whatever. Put on your little sock. Stick them in, stick them in. And then, of course, tie them up. No double knots, please. Yeah, no double knots. Just simply just tie a knot. And then, I lost my cute little sock. Uh, hold on. Let me find my sock. I love you. And I will love you. Right here. So right here. Oh. Well, I found it, and I got these cute little I owl socks. My ass. Cute little socks, and then just pull them all the way down before you get to the toe, and then put it on, and make sure, like, if it's a color or whatever one, you want the little color right there. That's where the point is. That you can know. Well, of course, you should already know. But that's just a cute way, like, to design them so that they also don't fall off. So, you have them both looking like this, and I've got little polka dots, and then, like, little owls and stuff on them, so they look all cute, and then you can dance around your house. Okay, well, that's it. So long.